Well, sometime in 2019, ITU member states decided to host this World Telecoms ICT Policy Forum. And this was well before the COVID-19 pandemic made it clear how pivotal the telecommunications and ICT technologies and services are in people's lives. That's what has made it possible for us to have near normal communications and activities and social and economic activity. But from September 2019, right up to November 2021, a group of over 170 experts who represent ITU member states, sector members, and academia met on a regular basis to draft a set of non-prescriptive policy documents, which we call opinions, which will be discussed and approved by consensus at the forum. All the five opinions that they have worked on address how new and emerging technologies in telecommunications and ICT services, such as artificial intelligence, Internet of Things, 5G, big data, over-the-top services, OTTs, are enablers or can be enablers of the, our global transition to the di digital economy. We've all realized how digitalization has become pivotal to everything we do. And so we need to consider how existing technologies new emerging technologies can also facilitate that transition. In fact, one opinion deals specifically with the role played by these technologies and services in facilitating the use of telecommunications and ICTs for sustainable development. We still have a 2030 goal to work towards. So it's important to note that it is not one single technology, but rather a mix or a convergence of technologies that will sustain this extraordinary technological advances at the center of this year's forum. So that's why technology is so pivotal. Absolutely. The emerging technologies we're discussing or will be discussing at the forum can help us tackle the world's most pressing challenges from ending hunger to reducing inequalities and poverty, to combating climate change. Everything from education, healthcare, finance, mobility, agriculture, trade, energy, accessibility, and all the other areas related to the UN Sustainable Development Goals can be facilitated and transformed through technology. Everything. But to succeed, we need also to fulfill the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development by leaving no one behind. And new data from the ITU shows strong global growth in internet use. The number of internet users globally grew by more than 10% in the first year of the pandemic and is by far the largest single increase in a decade. However, almost 3 billion people have still never used the internet and are being left out. And many of these digitally excluded people face, in addition to that, other formidable challenges, including poverty, limited access to electricity, portable water, and a lack of digital skills and awareness. And so creating and using available relevant content in local languages is essential to drive demand and close the usage gap. And government services are a prime example, particularly in this COVID era. It is also critical to extend connectivity to those un in unserved and underserved areas. And it is important to recognize and address the particular challenges faced by developing countries, landlocked small island states, in mobilizing new and emerging technologies telecommunications, ICT services and technologies for sustainable development. And that's part of the conversation that we're going to be having. I think one of the distinct features of the forum and this preparatory process is its inclusive nature. And it is one of its main strengths as well. It brought governments, 
um, academia, businesses, the industry, civil society, and all others together to think through the issues that currently conform, uh, confront us. All stakeholders need a, stay, a seat at this table. No one can do it alone. It is impossible. And to meet the challenge of extending access to all, government has to work closely with industry, academia, and civil society. And the private sector, for example, has a huge role to play in investing in the innovative technologies that will help create the global transition to the digital economy. We can't do it without them. But realizing the potential of this economy also depends on several factors, including fostering an enabling policy environment, and that's where governments come in, promote, that promotes investment and innovation through competition, capacity building, transparency, flexibility, and the active uh, participation of all stakeholders. You need to create a forum where, as equal partners, we can all meet and discuss these issues and work towards implementing solutions together. And that's what this forum offers an excellent platform for this multilateral, multi-stakeholder approach by consensus to dealing with the issues that we all recognize on front of us all. And that's the beauty of the WTPF. Once agreed and finalized at the forum, the opinions will offer guidance to ITU member states. And it is important that the final opinions are fully representative and the result of multi-stakeholder discussions and consensus amongst ITU membership. There's no voting at the WTPF. We agree on every matter by consensus and own and work towards implementing it together. The world stands united in harnessing emerging technologies to accelerate the achievement of the 2030 Agenda for the Sustainable Development Goals and to solve some of our most pressing challenges, including this current pandemic and any others which may come about in the future, without leaving anyone behind. Inclusion of everybody, regardless of economic status, uh, geographic location, gender, ability, is absolutely critical. And so WTPF provides an opportunity to create a shared vision for a more fair, sustainable and inclusive digital future. And we absolutely need to make that happen.